Hello everyone, welcome to Move Your 30 Day Yoga Journey. I'm Adrian. this is Benji, and we're so glad you're back for day four. Let's flow. All right, we're gonna start standing today anywhere on your mat, just a nice, comfortable position between me and you. Benji's here getting settled in with his head on the windowsill. I can't with that. And uh, we're gonna start in a nice mountain pose. So send the feet at least hip width apart, but maybe even just slightly wider here to start, just so you feel that foot to earth connection. Take a look down at your feet, lift your toes up, and then just slowly maybe start with the outer toes and just slowly mindfully put them down. We don't have to spend too much time on this like foot technique, but just creating more awareness of the feet here in our, in our practice and in our life. So drawing up from whatever your base is, that could be your feet or if you're modifying, maybe it's from the, the base of your spine here. And we'll find length in the spine and gently bring the hands, both, both palms to the chest and just feel the warmth of your hands on your chest. Lift the sternum, close your eyes, make a wish, okay, and relax the shoulders. So you have arrived, we're here, open mind, stretching not just the muscular body, right? But energetically, even philosophically landing here, ready and available to move. If you've been reading the accompaniment that comes with this physical practice, the written accompaniment, you know, there's this question, like what do you want to move toward? And I love a flow practice because it really guides me to mindfully move through sensation, feedback, challenge versus Sometimes that instinct to retreat or quit or move around something. So just remember the breath always comes first. The breath will lead this flow practice. Take breaks when you need to. Remember this time is for you to connect back to you. So there's no right or wrong here. Enjoy, bend the knees, open the eyes, and we'll release the fingertips down to come up. Just take a deep breath in as you reach high up towards the sky. And then exhale, take up space as you float the palms and the fingertips down. Twice more like that, big inhale, reaching all the way up. And slow exhale, all the way down. Last one, inhale, reach all the way up, spread the fingertips, ground through the feet, and exhale, float it down. Beautiful, if you're not already at the top of your mat, go ahead and step to the top. No need to look down at the ground as you walk to the front of your mat because you know it's there, you got this. And then when you're ready, feet come together, really together as we inhale, reach up towards the sky. Slow exhale as you slowly fold forward, bend the knees. Good, inhale. Today, send your fingertips out behind you, airplane arms as you look forward, lengthen through the neck. And then exhale, let everything go, forward fold. Step one foot back, then the other, plank pose. Inhale in here, exhale to all fours. Inhale to drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, round through the spine, cat. Inhale, drop the belly, wrists underneath the shoulders. And exhale, just make sure your knees are underneath the hips. One more time, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round through the spine. 
Good, then lift one knee, then the other. Send your gaze straight down, neck is nice and long. We're just gonna keep, we're gonna keep the hands where they are. We're just gonna tick tock the heels a little left to right, waking up through <laughs> those obliques. Back and forth, back and forth, creating a little heat. And then slowly come to center, lower the knees, and then the belly and the chest, Press into the tops of the feet, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, we lift up for Cobra. Take a couple moments here to find what feels good. Soft, easy movement. And then release whenever you're ready and let's meet in downward facing dog. When you get there, pedal it out. Connect to center. So that's bringing awareness to the front of your body to meet the back of your body. Stretching through the feet, the ankles, the calves, lifting the hip creases up high. And then anchor through the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step it forward all the way. Lower the back knee on a big inhale. Slowly, gently, there's no rush. Sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Good, slowly interlace the fingertips behind the head. You can extend the thumbs here to kind of cradle the neck. Uncurl the back toes, lift up from the pelvic floor. So come out of the, the posture so you're not sinking in. Lift up from the pelvic floor a bit, squeezing your thighs. And we're just gonna lift the chest to the chin and then chin to the sky here. Feel the head heavy in your hands. Good, inhale in here. Exhale, release everything. Come back to your nice low lunge. Lift the back leg, step the right foot back. We're gonna tick tock the heels a little left to right. Try to keep pressing into both palms evenly here. We're just waking things up here. You're doing great. All right, come back to center. You can keep the knees lifted or lowered. Slowly lower all the way to the belly. Here we go, Cobra on an inhale and soften and release with the exhale. Curl the toes under, inhale in, draw your navel up to your spine as you start to exhale, press up, power up, plank pose, quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. See what happens if you actually do it, I am strong. And then send the hips high and back, downward facing dog. Good, on your next breath in, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way forward. Good, lower your back knee. Inhale, send the fingertips forward, up and back. Bend the elbows, interlace the fingertips opposite uh, bind this time. So the opposite thumb, oh, sorry, we extended the thumbs, but still opposite bind. You're like, what? <laughs> Press into the top of your back foot. Use that to help root you to lift up from the pelvic floor. Open the elbows wide. Shoulder blades, scalps kind of dropping down. You got this, lifting up, 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 chest to chin, chin to sky, head is heavy. We're pressing firmly into the ball joint of that left big toe. Lovely, and then release everything. Bring it back down, lift the right knee, step the left foot back. All right, this time we're gonna shift forward on the toes. Inhale to look forward, shift forward. You might lower just halfway now, chaturanga, and lift up to upward upward facing dog. Otherwise, you're just doing cobra and enjoying that as your heart opener here. Wherever you are, inhale in. Use your exhale to guide it back to downward facing dog. So you can interchange between cobra and up dog. Listen to your body. Follow your breath. Bend your knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, we're gonna take one step to the middle, then another step to the middle and then another step to the top and another step to the top. So you just took four steps. If you need to take more, please do. Forward fold. All right, here come the airplane arms. Inhale, lift halfway. Find that length through the neck. Hug the low ribs in. And exhale, release. Great, walk the feet together if they're not here. And here we go, bend the knees, send the hips back. Keep the knees bent generously as you send your fingertips forward and sit back into a chair. 
Lift the toes, ground through the feet. So your fingertips don't have to go all the way up towards the sky. In fact, you can send them out in, in a diagonal, kind of beyond the crown of the head. Thumbs facing up, pinkies down. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball here. Sink a little lower, you got this. Draw your navel in and up. Good, then press through the feet. Inhale, reach for the sky. Capture something up and overhead and exhale. Bring the palms together back down to your heart. Good, inhale, full cycle of breath here. Exhale to release the fingertips, mountain pose. Good, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, wiggle the fingertips this time as you float it down. Inhale, halfway airplane arms, just play. Exhale, soften and fold. <clears throat> Good, inhale, step both feet back, plank pose. Exhale, listen carefully, downward facing dog. Hips up high. Good. Inhale, lift the right foot all the way up. Exhale, send it forward. High lunge here. Squeeze inner thighs to the midline. Inhale, scoop the fingertips forward, up and back, reaching up high, dropping the shoulders down. Strong legs here. Inhale, carve a line with your nose to look up. As you exhale, pivot on the back foot. Open it up to the left, warrior two. Lift the chest. Good, inhale, peaceful warrior, just like we did in our previous practice. And this time, exhale, cartwheel all the way down to your lunge and right into your twist, pivoting on the back foot. Inhale, send the right fingertips up high, good. Exhale, bring it back down. Here we go, stepping the right foot back. Chaturanga to upward facing dog or cobra. Inhale to open your heart and use your exhale to make your way back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. And when you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way up. Squeeze inner thighs towards the midline, so we're finding that lift up from the pelvic floor, finding that stability before you scoop the fingertips forward on a breath in, and then all the way up towards the sky. Strong high lunge here, you got this. Squeezing the inner thighs like towards the mid midline, so you feel that like lift up from the pelvic floor. Beautiful. Lifting the chest, lifting the chin. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, open it, warrior two, to the right this time. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Bending that front knee. Good, inhale, left fingertips reach all the way up. Lengthen and then back, peaceful warrior, front knee stays bent. And then enjoy this move as you cartwheel, leading with the left fingertips all the way down. Right hand comes to follow. Big twist as you bring the right hand to the ground. Left fingertips up towards the sky. Back heel is lifted. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, left hand all the way back down to the earth. Step the left foot back, plank pose or half plank. Find a vinyasa here, a little flow that works for you. Using the inhale to open the chest. And then exhale to feel your way back down and through to downward facing dog. You got this. When you get to your down dog, try not to think too hard here and get ahead. Just stay in the present moment. Use your breath, inhaling in deeply and maybe letting out a nice cleansing breath. Good. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, reach for the sky. Same thing, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, send the right fingertips up and back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheel it all the way forward. Find your twist. Inhale, reach for the sky, right fingertips wiggle and reach. Exhale, bring them down. This time, option to keep the right leg lifted in your vinyasa. So inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale for cobra or up dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. You're doing great. Stay present, do your best. When you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, send it forward. Strong legs connected to center. Inhale, we rise up. High lunge. Exhale, open up to the right, warrior two. 
Good, inhale, left fingertips reach up and back, peaceful warrior. And exhale, cartwheel it all the way forward. Pivot on the back foot, inhale, left knee squeezes in as we reach the left fingertips up high, wiggle. Breathe in, breathe out, it comes back all the way down. Maybe we keep the left foot lifted here for this little flow. Nice and easy. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale to soften and release. Check it out. This time, inhale up to all fours. And exhale, child's pose. Knees together or wide, your choice. Take three breaths here. You got this. Enjoy, close your eyes. Soften through the jaw. Stay present in this moment. Try not to get ahead. All right, press into the palms, slowly lift back up. We're gonna walk the knees into center, cross one ankle over the other, and you're gonna come through to a seat. So you can sit up on a blanket if you like here, and you can face any direction, but if you wanna to orient to the video so you can see me for this next little ditty, Please do. So head over heart, heart over pelvis. If you find that you're collapsed here, it might be a good idea to go ahead and sit up on something just to help find some length. <clears throat> help you sit up nice and tall. All right, fingertips come to the earth. We're gonna inhale, send the fingertips halfway, palm face down. Exhale with energy, bring the palms together at your heart. Then drop the chin to the chest as you retain the breath. Palms reach behind, feel free to peek at me if this is new. And then inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. And then exhale, press as if you're pressing some clouds or something down, down, down with energy. So trying to kind of share that Flow isn't always like a style of yoga. It's, it's falling into this beautiful, loving, trusting, almost romantic relationship with your breath. And that can be with, with any, any sort of movement, whether it's subtle body or, or big, you know, gross body, big, big gestures. So let's play here, fingertips on the ground. And if you've done this little sequence with me before, see if you can like romance it a little, whatever that means to you. Okay, here we go. So lift up through the sternum. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breath, you might use it here. Or if you're not familiar with Ujjayi breath, you can check, check out a video on that on Yoga with Adrian channel. But you can also just create an audible breath, something that you can hear kind of and let it be your soundtrack. Okay. Inhale, send the fingertips out in line with the shoulders. Full breath. Exhale, slowly press the palms together. Listen to the sound of your breath. Slow, slow, slow. Empty, 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 empty. Good. Chin to chest. Reach behind. Inhale, fingertips float up. Breathe in. Exhale, slow and steady, really milk it as you float the fingertips down. If you feel like you have this little flow already, close your eyes. If you still want to keep eyes open or soft gaze, follow me. Here we go. Inhale. Wrists in line with the shoulders. Exhale. Palms together at the heart. Chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float it down. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Chin to chest, reach behind, inhale. And exhale, float it down. So we're gonna do two more without me talking. 
Here we go. When you get to the bottom, pause, be still. <clears throat> Allow your breath to move you gently. Beautiful, then open your eyes if you haven't already, and we're gonna come forward onto all fours. Curl the toes under, send the hips up high and back. Deep breath in. Nice audible exhale out. Now let's go again with the breath. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. <clears throat> exhale, step it forward. With that audible breath, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open, warrior two. Good, inhale, reach it up and back. Front knee stays bent, peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheel it all the way back down to your lunge. Inhale, follow the breath, right fingertips reach up, big twist. Exhale, float it down with the breath. Beautiful. From here, step it right back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Empty it out. Left leg lifts up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward. High lunge, inhale with the breath, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Good, inhale, peaceful warrior with the breath. Exhale, cartwheel it all the way back down. The breath fuels the movement, inhale. Left fingertips reach up. And exhale, back down. Back to downward facing dog, deep breath in. And exhale, slowly lower the knees. This time, cross the ankles, but do the one that feels less comfortable, so the weird cross. Ooh, and then that should leave you in a cross-legged seat that's not your normal dominant front leg. Dominant front leg, whatever that means, but not, you know, feels kind of wonky. Just notice, notice if you feel good about this or a little weird about this. It's all part of our practice here, our exploration. We're gonna take the left hand to the right knee, right fingertips behind, just gentle twist here. Breathe in. Breathe out. And to the other side, inhale, sit up nice and tall, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna uncross the legs. Send the fingertips forward. Start at the tailbone, start to tuck the tailbone and slowly, slowly, slowly roll down. So if you have one, a moment where you just kind of crash on your back, just know that you gotta start somewhere. We're building strength, really fierce, strong, beautiful strength in our core throughout this practice. So just be patient with yourself, give yourself grace. Okay, when you come onto your back, interlace your fingertips behind the head and we'll lift the knees up. So we're in a little tabletop position, but on our backs, inhale in, exhale, lift the head, the neck, the shoulders up. All right, from here, we're gonna straighten both legs. So one is at a diagonal and one is straight up. If the knees are bent generously, all good. You don't have to have super straight legs, but it's just the intention, the energy as you point through the toes. All right, keep the head and neck lifted. We're just gonna switch here and switch. Switch and switch. Elbows stay wide. Head is heavy in the hands. 
Feel that connection through your abdominal wall. All right, now we're gonna turn the toes in, but keep this like gentle scissor of the legs going. So internal rotation, good, good, good. And external rotation now, turn them out. You're here for three, you're here for two. Now back to parallel for three, two, and release. Bring the feet together, open the knees wide, bring the hands to your belly. Close your eyes, inhale, breathe into your belly, feel the breath literally move your hands, right? This rise as you inhale and this fall as you exhale. Feel free to kind of exaggerate it if this is new for you, just to get a sense of feeling of this kind of, um, what I like to call with the kids balloon breath, but I think it works for all of us. For the kid and all of us, so feel free to really exaggerate it, feel that rise and fall just to get in the habit. All right, we'll start to get a little quiet here. Close your eyes, breathe, send some good <laughs> awareness to your hips that are probably speaking to you, whispering to you. So for me, flow is not a style of yoga or a flavor. I mean, sure it is. For me, it's it's about alignment. It's about knowing what you are allowing to guide you and and control you and and what you're inviting to be a leader a, a guide in your life so when we think about where movement comes from and where our actions come from we really need to take a step back and think about like our values <laughs> and and what what is really guiding the way? So this is a really great opportunity through our daily practice to come back to the breath and discover or rediscover just how meaningful that relationship can be. Gently take your fingertips and bring them to the outer edges of your legs and just guide the knees back together. And then walk the feet as wide as your yoga mat and allow the knees to fall in towards each other. And then send both knees over to the right. Cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Breathe in. And sigh, breathe out. And then bring it over to the left, cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh and breathe in and sigh it out, breathe out. Awesome. And then we'll extend both legs long and you can rest here for a bit longer in Shavasana or you can sit up for a nice little meditation even if it's quick. But I will be signing off here for now, sending you all my love and gratitude. Thank you so much for showing up for practice today. I will see you tomorrow for day five, always a fun day. So till then, take good care. Let's bring the palms together, thumbs up towards the third eye. Inhaling deeply. And exhale, namaste.